up, everybody? It's Leonard Fury here. I need to show you guys my base replays. We are currently in an alliance war. And I uh, took down bases one and two so far. So here we go. Let's replay base one. I'm using the B team. I took uh, that bomb and slipstream in here. Just waiting to get him close enough. Got him close enough. Ooh, got him in the air before the mortar hit. And bada boom, bada bang. They blew something up. Now they're down. The dive bomb's down, but the rest are out. Now, I think what I was doing here was I was just waiting. I was trying to get 12 points, and I was going to send all the death source up through there. But it was taking too long, so I sent Razor Claw up to smash that last mortar. And I did. And he smashes it. And then he goes down. Along with that source. But everything's down by the mortar. And I believe a missile launcher that's hidden up behind that HQ. It don't matter, my friends. You know what? Because what I do next is I say, with all the slot, bada boom, bada bang. And then I come in with Galvatron. I finish off that laser. Shockwave gets all onslaught healed up a little bit. Yep, I was right. There's a missile launcher up, hidden up behind the HQ. I believe all we have left alive now is Galvatron. Three star shockwave is healed. And onslaught. <clears throat> Now, Shockwave gets frozen by a mine he trips. Onslaught's hurting, so he starts running down to heal him, gets himself killed. Just as Galvatron finishes off the base. Bada boom, bada bang, base one has conquered. First try, 15 points. Very nice, very, very nice. Here's base two. I also took down on my first try for 30 points. It puts me in a total of 45 points. Took the old A team in. Started out with Sky Roar and Cyclonus because Starscream's not quite ready to replace Cyclonus. Got two mortars. There they go. And then that jar is going up with Megatron. We're just busting everything up here. Believe I'm going to be charging here again in a minute. Yep, here we go. Moving on up to the HQ. Pretty much whole team's just up here pounding away on it. And there you have it. Base two is down.
45 points. Next base is worth 45 points. Which will put me at 90. If I can do it the first try. That's as far as anybody's gone here. It seems. But, it's pretty strong base. CHU 13, Shock Tower 3. It's got, looks like he's got a lot of nice bots. I guess his Ultra Magnus is one of the defenders. Yeah, look at there, he's got his defenders 11, 11, 11. Now he's got 11 on AC, 12 AC. So looks like he's got 11 walls, 7 beam, 12 AC, 9 mortar, 10 laser turret, 9 mortar, 9 mortar, 11 auto, 7 beam, 11 AC, and he's got a 2 missile launcher, 10 laser, 10 laser. So what I'm going to do here, friends, I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a minute. And I'm going to go take it down. But devastating. All right, friends. <clears throat> I managed to get base four, or base three, I mean. But I'm not going to get four. And they've got it set up with a really strong time trap, which wouldn't be an issue, but... Even that Dustin's just aren't strong enough to, to burn down that time trap in a time. Even with the Devastator's help. I, just, I ran out of time. And the way they get their base set up, I can't get charged up to... Even if I use Deathosaurus, I wouldn't be able to get him up all the way up to it. If I could get him up to it, he could take the HQ down. But they have got it lined up. It's just... It's, it's not possible. Even with his charge range, it's just not possible to get up there. But I shall show you the replay of base three, my friends. It was good times. Pretty much, I used breakdown for bait. And I shot up there, legs, and then I popped out. And you see, this is another time trap. But this guy's time trap was to really get up there. So I went ahead and brought that down. I did this dude do his thing, and it's like a bunch of stuff. It's just a three star, so both my both my devastator and Bruticus are three stars. Bruticus is level two, my devastator is level five, and then I'm the guess. And it gives my whole team. But I was like, you know what? This is how this is gonna get. So I went, let's go. And I charged up there. Got my arm pulled up with my turn. From here. It was just a matter of taking out Magnus and this little launcher and the shot count. If Space 4 would have had a similar setup, it would have been an easy roll as well. But that guy, he had to set his time trip up. Nothing within an HQ, but, it, but, it was, but the way his time trap set up, all this stuff was pushed all the way down to the very beginning. So it was not possible to get up here, here with Mega Run or even with the Death Source's range. Mega is on a 
Yeah. We took out those three. I don't think we're gonna get four of it. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. I'll go ahead and show you guys my base four attempt. Looks like I tried twice the first attempt and it goes so hot. So I popped the cooldowns on the busters. Because <laughs> the B team just didn't have what it took. I even had Death Source on that team. That's why I know he can I couldn't get him up here. But yeah, see how it is. It might have been possible if I would have been on the right with the with the B team to maybe have shot from this source from that. But I still know when I could see you can't charge the outpost. That's the closest point. So, yeah, so that's why I popped it. But the busters, I mean, I popped Dev on the side here because the busters pretty much have the, the left softened up. So we're going to pop Dev on the right here. We can go take out the laser and then that middle, middle uh, mortar right there. We got it. And the laser, but then boom, right here. All it really looks this, this gun is like a I can use HQ-13 as well. And, uh, even his ACs were just hitting like freight trains. And as you can see, time jump layout. I like when this guy's an outpost up there with many HQ, but I can't tell the distance. You're doing so wonderful right here. I really thought we might have been able to do it at this point. But. A shock terror there. Right? You're going to be running it. Now the shock terror combined with stupid jazz. Was our downfall. It took, it took me on enough of a team to where um, I just didn't have the DPS to finish this time trap off and get up the field in time. And hey, it's only a matter of time. All the buses here are between 37 and 39. I think the only one that's not 37, 38, or 39 not is Shaw Player. I think he's 35 or 36. Champ. Just got mags at 39, I believe. I'll be the first one to hit 40. It's just so close. These faces here will not be a problem. Once I start popping 50 caps on them, the world it will literally be my oyster. I cannot wait. Not a bad run at all, though, if I say so myself, because I did that with pre 40 cons. We got six and a half hours left. We're up by a good bit. So I think we have a shot at it. We're winning this one. And then 
no one, none of them's been able to get past that base either. I think I might be the only one with any combiner at all, let alone both. <sighs> Although I would say they all probably have better cards, like level wise. Because I, honestly, I've got a phenomenal lineup. Um, I just need a few more levels. Uh, honestly, I need like three levels. On, like one to three levels on, on the busters, and they're gonna be like, they're gonna be a freaking wrecking crew. So pretty excited for a jump off here. I just wanted to say uh, later today here on Thursday, uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Minus 5 GMT. I'm gonna be joining my buddy uh, Digidust Gaming. We're gonna be doing a live stream uh, with Google Hangouts on YouTube. Uh, just talking about, you know, Earth Wars and uh, probably be talking a little bit about Fire Emblem Heroes, a game I'm playing, as well as the Star Wars Force Arena. And then, uh, what's that other game I'm playing? Oh, yeah, probably maybe a little bit of Legacy at Discord, Furious Wings, and then, and then my buddy, uh, Digidust Gaming's playing The Walking Dead. So, we're gonna be talking about all of that. Feel free to come in and join us. Uh, I think he's probably hosting it, so it won't be a notification you'll get from me, my friends. Just keep an eye out for it, because I believe uh, Digidust Gaming will be the one hosting it. So. To look for that minus five GMT at five PM. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. As you can see, I'm get, starting to starting to get a lot stronger. And uh, I would say I'm gonna be ready after this weekend, but I'm not gonna be power level on this weekend because it's an all event, and I'm gonna be going back up to the Russian Brothers with an all event. So. I can get $16 crystals and hopefully get a 4 and a 3 star and all. Um, I'll see you guys later. Remember to stay classy and be good to one another. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Stay subbed if you are. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Tell your friends. Have them do the same. You've been busted.